brains. Complete or partial disruption of one of the deltoid ligament, tibiofibular ligament, talofibular, either the anterior or posterior, uh, or the calcaneofibular ligament. There may be associated tearing of the interosseous membrane. Sometimes the phrase mesonerve fracture comes up, or a high ankle sprain. That's where the interosseous membrane that extends up. So you end up having a, a pretty significant sprain of the ankle. Well, that energy gets translated up, and so you may actually end up with a higher fibular fracture. So they have an ankle sprain, but they have knee pain. So that's why sometimes it's appropriate to x-ray the, the entire length of the tibia looking for that proximal fracture. So the anterior talofibular ligament, the posterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament laterally. Medially, you're going to have the, uh, the deltoid ligament as a potential, uh, dis potentially disrupted uh, force. The, the deltoid ligament is essentially the confluence of the tibionavicular, tibiotalar, and tibiocalcaneal. The history, if they have an inversion, so they roll their ankle, then you're more concerned about lateral ligament in injuries. An eversion injury, then you worry about the medial ligaments. One thing that will periodically show up is the distinction between an avulsion fracture shown here or a Jones fracture that will happen up here. Quite often, this is simply a, a result of a rolled uh, ankle. So you end up with uh, pressure along the, t um, the peroneus brevis, and so you'll end up with an avulsion fracture. That's something that's relatively straightforward, and as long as there's no displacement, that can be casted fairly easily. If, however, there is an injury along the shaft, more distal, that's considered a Jones fracture, and a Jones fracture is something that can, uh, that has a high risk for non-union or malunion, and as a result, uh, needs to be referred out. The exam, you try to localize it to the specific anatomic structure. Uh, the syndesmotic squeeze testing is looking for problems with that interosseous uh, membrane. If there is, in fact, fibular, a fibular fracture or a syndesmotic disruption, uh, essentially that person will be in pain for quite a long time. Uh, you want to feel for ligamentous laxity, either doing, the anterior, doing both the anterior drawer and the talar tilt test. The x-rays, you're looking for mortis view that will show widening. Uh, and again, at that point, you'd be concerned about the high fibular fracture. The Ottawa rules, um, essentially four, four issues, or three issues. Pain along the malleoli, along the posterior edge. Uh, the patient is usually over 55 and can't bear weight, either immediately at the time of the injury or now can't walk four steps on it. Uh, these are the rules to help determine whether or not you want to get x-rays or not. This is trying to show a mortise that's widening. So for this person, you'd be very concerned about what's going on more uh, proximally. Has there been a disruption of the uh, fibula to tib, fib tib? It can be graded. Grade 1, there's no laxity, minimal pain. They're able to bear weight. Grade 2, mild laxity, some swelling partial weight bearing. Grade 3, usually from complete ligamentous disruption, so they have laxity, swelling, and inability to bear weight. The treatment for grades 1 and grade 2 are usually conservative, um, crutch walking, ice, compression, elevation. Uh, rehab with sports cast, uh, the air cast. Then you want to progressively go through range of motion ultimately to proprioception, strength, and then agility, a return to, to sports. Grade 3 usually can be put in a short leg cast for three weeks, but quite often surgical repair will be necessary if they have significant instability. If they have um, syndesmotic sprain, uh, it's going to require prolonged support because they're going to be in pain for a long time while that heals. And if they have complete tibia fibular diastasis, then surgical repair is going to be necessary. That's usually going to be from a very significant severe injury. Well, that's the end of a long road. Thank you very much for your